my dearest you, the ten hours flight from London to Beijing made me tired. But I still couldn't sleep. Today, when I arrived nearby my house, I couldn't find the way. Almost every old building is demolished. My house now is standing by the highway. It feels strange. After four years living in old London, now I'm back to this brand new world constructed by the highway. I felt as if I was in a city in America. Behind my house is a restaurant. I observed this backyard all night. The chefs and the waiters shouted to each other in a southern dialect. Probably the young manual workers don't want to do farming in their poor hometown anymore. I saw they chopped lots of pork and ducks in a sink. It looked oily, but perhaps they cook my favorite dumplings there. Remember when I was in London? I just wanted to eat Chinese food every day, and you were complaining about how stubborn I am. As you know, I hated English food, and I hated this salad without any salt. So I think I will eat my first salty and spicy meal in this restaurant tomorrow. But these people, they work overnight. I wonder when they will sleep. It felt like no one sleeps in Beijing, and the construction work is also carrying on on the highway. In the middle of night, I will write to you very soon. Bye for now. Take care and love. My dearest you, how are you in London? I called you twice, but I had no luck. Is it raining there? Here, it is almost forty degree. Cars and air condition produced more heat into this dusty city. Beijing is crazy. It's like a forty years old man start taking cooking. Everything is booming, but in a strange way. Only the morning is nice. Old people come out from their apartment. I think old people are happier in China than in the West. Do you agree with me? Because they live with their family and spend time with their grandchildren. It will be a pity if we live together in the council house in East London. We will not have this kind of life. We will die alone. You will die earlier than me, because men die earlier than women. So then I will die alone in the end, in a silent and gloomy house. Scary when I think of our old age. Maybe we should move back to China. Maybe we should live like these people, energetic, laughing from the early morning. I hope finally you find yourself a nice bicycle from the Brooklyn Market, and I hope to hear from you very soon. Love. <laughs> Hi there. The postcards I sent you returned back. 
and I called you many times, but no one answered the phone. I wonder if you already moved out from your flat. But I remember you told me before when I left England that you would tell me when and where you will move. I don't understand what's happening with you. Here in Beijing, the heat is continually arising. They are digging the holes to build the subway for the 2008 Olympics. Everyone talks about VC, venture capital. It's probably American word. They say it's a new way to make lots of money. I often wander around in the massive street. Don't know if I like this country or dislike it. Anyway, I want to hear from you very soon, and I will keep trying to call you. Kiss. My dearest, today is 10th of August. I have been back to China for a month, but I still hear nothing from you. I thought the world is small. London is not really very far from here, but I'm wrong. Everyone asks me what England looks like, whether the Westerners are all very rich or they have sex with each other without getting married. I couldn't answer. Maybe you can. I spent my every day like these people, doing nothing, but waiting for something happen. I miss you a lot. Dear you, I feel sad when I'm writing down my words at this very moment. I dialed your number almost every day, but I hear nothing back. I also called your friends, but they didn't tell me where you are. I think they do know where you are, but they don't want me to know. People don't say straight things in the West. That's what I hated. Here, I try to live my everyday, more or less like other people, buying vegetables, cooking meat, wandering in the cheap market, watching pilot DVDs at night, thinking about family and all that. I guess you wouldn't receive this postcard, as many others, and I wonder if you would ever write to me or call me. By the way, just to let you know, this morning I cancelled my flight, so I will not come back to England this week. I don't know when I will be back. Maybe I will know until the day you write me back, or maybe I will never come back to England. But I know I will think about the other side of the world on my pillow. Take care, and still love to you. <laughs>